to our broadcast on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Yang Yuchen with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm standing inside the maintenance center of Shenyang Electric Multiple Unit Depot, northeast China's Liaoning Province. China's Lunar New Year, Spring Festival, is approaching, and the travel season has already begun from January 28th. China will see hundreds of millions of railway passenger trips during the travel season, and many passengers will choose high-speed railway. You may wonder that how the railway sector ensures the safety and efficiency of high-speed trains. Today, you can follow us to decode the secret of the maintenance work of high-speed trains. Let's see how the high-speed trains get their health checks. Today, we have Ms. Zhang Tianzhou with us. Welcome, Ms. Zhang. Hello. Yes. Uh, so, Ms. Zhang is a staff member here, and she will show us around. So, Ms. Zhang, it's your turn now, and what do you want to show us first? First, we are going to the dispatch department. Okay, lead away, please. This is where the maintenance orders are taken. It keeps close contact with various departments to ensure the quality and the efficiency of their work. The large screen shows the layout of the workshop, and uh, we can also see the real-time position of each train. Our staff can get the information they need through the monitor. Um, so this is how our dispatchers work. And what about our technicians? How do the technicians check the trains? And what is their working routine? Now I will take you to the workshop. Follow me, please. Yes, OK. Let's go this way. Okay. Please mind the height. Okay, so now we have to go downstairs and but now we are standing between two trains and I have noticed noticed that it's a quite long lane here and how long is each train? Yes, it's about 450 meters of the long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what about your uh, working routine? Uh, yes, as we are still fighting for the coronavirus disease, the prevention is... Uh, we, atti we attach great importance to the prevention and the control work. So every day before the train enters the stores, our first move is to wear protective clothing and uh, then enter the cars to sterilize. The disinfection of trains has become a crucial part of our daily work. Yes. Well, so uh, the pandemic prevention and control work are very crucial in the high-speed train operation. We have four key work positions for first level maintenance. Number one, responsible for the operation and the debugging of the driver's type. Number two, position is responsible for the maintenance of the rooftop high voltage equipment. Number three and number four are responsible for the maintenance of the bogey. Well, so there is uh, technicians uh, checking. So he is uh, the number three and number four, right? Yes, yeah. yes. For some key parts, we use cameras to keep it on record. Now let's take a look at the bogey from beneath the trains. Yeah. So we okay. have to go downstairs again? Yes. So please watch your head again. <laughs> so what does it look like from the beneath the high-speed high speed train? The safety of bogies is the most important part of the operation safe of high-speed trains. Some components wear out due to the snow and ice in winter. It means that our technicians must conduct inspection very carefully, especially on the brake pipes. We even have a double check of it.
the brake pads are pretty important parts of our high-speed trains. Now let's go back to the ground. The inspections I just introduced is carried out in the state of no electricity. The following procedures need to be done with electricity. Let's come inside the train. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. There are so many steps here, so many stairs. Now let's go inside the train. But now the train is connected uh, to the electricity supply. Yes, here our staff will conduct inspection and maintenance of the facility service, such as the toilet, the sink. Oh, uh, we can see, we can see toilet here, sink. Yes. You can wash your hands here. And uh, the luggage right. Luggage right here. And the seat, we can do is to make sure the comfortable and the convenience for our passengers while traveling. So this is uh, the second class. You can see, you can see. Uh, the number one position's responsibilities include the traction ties, braking ties, air conditioner checks, and the door checks. Let's come inside and have a look. So here we come to the driver's room. Meanwhile, buggy checks are conducted at the same time. Um, so uh, after all this work, do we have uh, someone like uh, a quality inspector? Yes, finally, the quality inspector will check and accept according to the criteria. Well, we have to say we quite we have quite many steps here. Uh, so this is how our menu check proceeds. And uh, you have just told me that uh, there would be a double check of the brake pads. So how and when? Yes, that is conducted in our dynamic monitoring workshop. And now let's come and have a look. Uh, so okay, so on our on our way to the dynamic monitoring workshop, uh, you can watch this video to get more details about there. Yeah, let's go. So here we come to the dynamic monitoring workshop, right? Yes, here is our dynamic monitoring workshop. Let's come inside. This team supervises the manual check procedure. They will make sure that the technicians have done their work right, according to the photos sent by the technicians. This provides a guarantee for our manual check. Let me show you with an example. For such a high-speed train, braking is an extremely important function. The inspectors must check the relevant parts of the brake system very carefully. Well, so this is the uh, regular inspection when the train is stationed. And uh, how we can make sure that everything works well uh, when the train is uh, moving so fast. We also have a monitoring method called Trouble of Moving EMU Detection System, which we call it TEDS. Let's check in the control room. Through the high-speed camera, we can capture the running state of the train pass when the train drives at high speed. These images clearly show the train's conditions when it's running at the speed of 350 kilometers per hour. So we can see that 
these images have high definition. It's very clear. The dynamic inspector will scan more than 100 paths of each train's bogey. Now, let me show you with a picture. You can see the accumulation, the accumulated phenomenon. Uh, the ice and the snow is more common in the northeast China in winter. It presents hidden dangers for our trains. So we can see that, uh, have you guys noticed that the white stuff here, they are the snow and ice. So our inspectors can recognize where the snow and ice are. And once they uh, recognize them and they will inform the technicians immediately. Yes. Yeah, so with this uh, uh, method used in the inspection and the maintenance procedure, we can say that we largely enhance the safety level uh, of the high-speed trains operation, right? Yes, right. Yeah, so uh, thank you, Ms. Zhang, for your uh, introduction today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah, so thank you. Um, so after today's tour, I bet you have a whole picture of the maintenance work of China's high-speed trains. Thanks to all this meticulous work and the use of high technology, high-speed trains in China can run safely at such a high speed, and passengers around the world can enjoy convenient and comfortable trips. And I think this is one of the secrets of China's high-speed trains. So thanks for joining me today. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Yang Yichen with Tsinghua News Agency. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you next time.